What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is a free, uh, free general collective reading. This could resonate if you have any aspects of any signs in your chart, caps your side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Okay, so I received a channel message, so I'm going to channel it out and then um, um, if I receive any other messages and we might pull some cards. Okay, so um, it's a free general reading, so only take the messages that resonate. It's very, very, very important. Okay, so um, the channel I received was a Libra is about to find out pregnant with twins. Um, so you plug that in how it resonates. I'll tell you how well it can go in a minute. Um, an Aquarius's secret child is about to be exposed. That was the second one. Um, an Aries is about to be forced to move out. Forced to move out. Um, and there was another one. Hold on. Oh, a Virgo is moving on. That's right. Sorry. A Virgo is moving on. So a lot of signs in here, a lot of different situations. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, a lot going on in here. So a Libra about to find out pregnant with twins. Now, I feel that can go both ways. Um, it could, I feel it could be a masculine or feminine Libra. I feel it can go in two situations. Um, I feel a Libra, if this is you, Libra, you're pregnant and you're about to find out you are conceiving twins. Um, or you could be a masculine Libra. and Okay, feminine Libra, you could be pregnant and find out you're conceiving twins. Or you could be a feminine Libra finding out so a fem Libra is conceiving twins. Masculine Libra, I feel you could have impregnated somebody and you're about to find out they're, they, they are conceiving twins. Or you're a masculine Libra and you're finding out somebody connected to you is conceiving twins. That's how I feel it can go in that aspect, masculine and fem. However, that resonates for the Libra that's about to find out about the twin energy. I feel it could either be you baby bumping with um, twins or... You're a fem Libra finding out somebody connected to you is pregnant with twins or you are a masculine Libra impregnated somebody with twins or a masculine Libra somebody connected to you impregnated with twins. How that resonates. And then an Aries is about to be forced to move out. So um, I'm sorry, Aquarius, his secret child is about to be exposed. So this could be a masculine or fem Aquarius. Um, this could be you or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of Aquarius energy has a secret child and it's about to be exposed. I think in the community or social media or um, or or both, um, but some kind of secret child energy is about to be exposed for a, a Aquarius. Um, however, that resonates, masculine or femme Aquarius. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. Um, it hasn't happened yet. It sounds, it sounds like these things are about to happen. Aquarius, I'm sorry, Aries is about to be forced to move out. Forced. So I don't know if that's foreclosure. I don't know if that's um, being evicted. I don't know if that is an angry baby mama, baby daddy, or a situationship or cohabit, uh, cohabit, co, how do you say that? Cohabitation situation um, or something of that nature. This could be you or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of Aries energy, masculine or femme, about to be kicked out. Uh, you could be the one kicking the Aries out for all I know. Uh, you have to plug this Aries in in your life, however they resonate, if it resonates for you. And then a Virgo is moving on. So masculine or femme Virgo, moving on. So however they're moving on, um, this could be work, this could be a new job, this could be starting a new business, this could be kicking somebody out of their home, this could be divorce energy. Um, moving on from person, people, place, family, or situation, however that resonates in the Virgo's life. Um, we've got um, Libran, we've got Aquarius, we've got Aries, we've got Virgo. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you um, in your life. I feel guided to get moon cycles.
A foreclosed condo is about to be swept up quickly in the market, taken off the market. It's about to really, really, really piss off one particular Aries. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Um, growth on the bottom of the deck. I heard a um, foreclosed condo is about to be taken off the uh, market very, very, very quickly. Um, it's about to really, really piss off a particular Aries. Um, so this could go several different ways for the Aries um, about to be kicked out. For, uh, one of them, I feel they, um, they are being evicted um, for a foreclosed condo. Um, because I've got the message in about the Aries being pissed off about a foreclosed condo. So for one of these Aries, it really could resonate million different ways. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. You were somebody you're connected to. But I feel one of them, their condo is about to be foreclosed upon, is what I'm feeling. Um, and that's why it's going to make it angry. I heard it's going to be swept up off the market quickly. So um, apparently it's a nice condo. It might be a luxury condo. Um, and... Uh, they're going to be mad because they they want their luxurious condo or very nice condo in some shape, form, or fashion. A condo is a condominium for anybody that doesn't know. Growth upright. I feel this is the growth of the twins for the Libra energy. Um, the maybe growth in the situation with the secret child finally be exposed with this Aquarius. Um, maybe I mean because my goodness, you can't hide a child in the universe very long. Eventually, when they go school age, it's going to be known. And that's just the truth. Um, growth, maybe the Aries can get out and um, find them a place or stay with a friend or something. And Virgo, moving on. Growth in the Virgo's life, because they are highly intuitive, I'm feeling. Whoever you are, Virgo, if this resonates for you. And you're moving on to bigger, better things for you. Growth inside yourself. Um, or this could be... Um, Financial manifestation growth as well, possibly. Growth energy. Beware, one of these people is going to want to come back into a feminine energy's life, personal life. Use your best discernment and logic. Okay, I heard, I heard beware. One of these people um, is going to want to come back into your life and energy. Um, one of these people. Um, use your best discernment and logic. Um, so whoever you are and however it plugs in your life, your feminine energy, if this resonates for you, fem energy. And one of these people, it could be one or one plus or two plus, however that resonates in your life, they're going to want to come back into your life fem energy it could be the libra masculine or fem with the twin energy the aquarius secret child being publicly exposed energy the um aries uh, one of them i feel is being evicted from a condominium um foreclosure energy over here or it could be some other kind of being kicked out energy um and then a virgo moving on um heard at least However, this plugs in your life, one of these people is going to want to come back. Use your best discernment and logic and reasoning. So if you know this person or people is not good for you, or if they're not going to be honest with you in some shape, form, or fashion, it would not be smart to allow them into your, I heard your specifically your personal life. So, you know, your personal life is your personal life. That is very personal. Um, so, you know, you have to use your best discernment, logic, reasoning, and intuition. If these person or people are not going to be honest with you, then that's not smart. If they're not going to be straight, um, it's not going to be smart. And that's just the truth, okay? Of course, everybody has free will and you can do what you want, okay? Spirit messages you have respected. Okay, too many. Abundance on the bottom of the deck. These people see you as a money train, feminine energy. But one of these people will be very, very, very honest with you. You need to take it slow. 
Okay. I heard um, whoever you are, Fem Energy, I'm pulling you in strong. So um, you plug yourself in where you fit if you do. But I heard, because um, one of them wants to come back. Um, I heard somebody in this mix sees you as a uh, money train, as a money train. Um, but one of these people will be very, very, very honest, straightforward, and to the point, and honest with you. Um, use your best logic, reasoning, and intuition. So abundance upright. They see you as the money train. So I think you're successful. You could be a business owner. Um, you could be a entrepreneur. You could be a, um, um, you could work in the 3D in the employment sector. You could be career oriented. Um, or you could just um, have saved, you know, work very, very hard. You could have two, three, four, five jobs and saved up your money. However, that plugs in your life. But um, they see you as the money train, meaning they know you can manifest money whether you have two jobs, five jobs, one job, a side hustle, etc., they know you can manifest and bring in the abundance, and they know you do, or you're working on it. So just be careful with these people. Um, if this resonates for you, um, please be careful. Please, 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 okay? Um, however that resonates. Spirit messages you have like this. Realization reverse, so wake up call energy reverse. These people were living in a fantasy land in the past, but they're about to get huge wake up calls, huge. And quickly. Oh my Lord, so you plugging in how it resonates. Heard these people were living in a fantasy land in the past, but they're about to get huge wake up calls soon and quickly. So realization reverse is their intuition was off, uh, the fantasy land energy, i.e. your intuition's off. When you live in fantasy land, you're, you're not really in tune with what's really going on in the world. Um, you live in this very fantasy land type energy where everything's peaches and cream and gravy and Oh, and blasey, 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 and everything's gravy, baby. But the reality is, world is not gravy, baby, and that's just the truth. Um, for anybody that's lived any life, um, trust me, I'm a 38-year-old woman. I know this. Um, but these people were living in some kind of fantasy land, but their fantasy land is about to be um, smashed into smithereens with some reality and some wake-up calls. So their intuition was off, and this is the fantasy land energy, but they're about to... Um, they're about to wake up and um, snap out of fantasy land and uh, move on. And the Virgo, whoever the Virgo is, if you're the Virgo over here, you've already snapped out of it. Heard you're moving on. You've already snapped out of it. So you've already moved, you're moving on, um, whoever you are, Virgo. So good for you, I just want to say. Number three could be a very significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Number three. Um, this could be a significant age of a child, possibly, of yours or somebody you're connected to. It also could be a possible date of birth number, social security card number, lottery number, a jersey number, um, green card number, etc., 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 number three. Spirit messages here. Resistance reverse. I heard it's going to start happening fast. That they're living in this fantasy world and basically it's going to start happening fast whether they want it to happen or not fast it is um their reality and fantasy land is about to basically become reality um and it's about to start happening fast resistance reverse the bottom's about to fall out blinders about to come off and the i mean it's about the reality is about to hit them whether they want it to or not resistance reverse this is the universe making this happen it's the universe making this happen is what i'm feeling fast 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 energy fast the secret child will be exposed on social media and community this aquarius is about to be mortified oh my lord so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard fast, fast, fast. Um, the secret child is about to be exposed on social media 
and community, the Aquarius is about to be mortified. So Aquarius, if this resonates with you, you either are pregnant, you either have a secret child, you're a female and you either had a secret child and you're keeping it secret from people, or you are a masculine and you have impregnated somebody and y'all are keeping it secret for maybe you're married and you're keeping a secret or you're in a relationship and that's a third party and you're keeping a secret, however that resonates. But however that resonates for you, Aquarius, masculine or femme, because I feel like you go both ways. I heard the universe, uh, well, I didn't hear the universe is about to force it. I said the universe is about to force it, but um, I heard social media energy here. So that is technically the universe forcing it, is social media energy, um, just to let everybody know. It is. It's a form of the universe forcing it. I heard it's about to become very, very, very public on social media um, and in the community. So the community knows about your secret child, masculine or femme Aquarius, whoever you are. I feel you're married or in a third party or something. There's a reason you're keeping this child secret, but the community knows they're about to expose it, basically. Um, I heard social media and community. So people are about to talk about it all over town and or city or what have you. And they're about to post it all over social media. Um, so the bottom's about to fall out. The universe is about to force it in the means of social media. In this situation, um, this is universal forcing energy here. Wow. And someone's stuck in a rental agreement right now, and they are very, very, very pissed. Okay, and you plug that in, how it resonates. And I heard someone's stuck in a rental agreement right now, and they're very, very, very pissed. So you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, any any of these people, I'm presuming, um, the masculine or femme Libra, masculine or femme Aquarius, masculine or femme Aries, masculine or femme, Virgo. Somebody in this situation, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, is stuck in a rental agreement right now, or they're very pissed. So they don't want to be stuck in a rental lease agreement. Um, whoever this is, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, resistance reversed, um, they want to get out of it in that situation. They want to get out of it, um, but they would have to break the, the agreement. Um, you can't get out of a rental agreement unless you make arrangements with the um, landlord to do it. Um, and most of them won't let you out because of the contract. I've been in several rental agreements in my lifetime. Trust me, I know this. Um, but, you know, you plug it in how it resonates. But somebody in this situation is in a rental agreement right now. I heard they're pissed. So, but this is universal forcing energy of this stuff coming out, basically. Um, however this resonates, and then somebody's stuck in a rental agreement, and they're pissed. Number 25 could be a very significant number in somebody's life. Number 25, that could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be a possible date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible lottery number, possible jersey number, number 25. And twins are about to come back into contact very soon. It is going to piss someone off in this situation in a huge way. Oh, Lord. Okay, and I heard twins are about to come in contact again very soon. It's about to piss somebody off in this situation in a huge way. So, twins. So, twin flame energy. Uh, twin flame dynamic. Whoever the twins are, they're about to come in contact. It's somebody in this situation is a twin. Uh, I'll tell you that. Somebody in this situation is a twin. Divine masculine or divine femme. Whoever you are up in here that is a twin, I feel you know you're a twin. Um, because I feel you might be the one that's about to contact your twin. And it might be this same energy over here we're pulling in, possibly, for some. If possibly it might not be. You plug it in how it resonates. But whoever you are over here, you're the twin energy, masculine or femme. You know you're the twin. I feel you're going to reach out to your twin, whether it's this femme energy or somebody else. Resistance reverse, you're not going to um you've been resisting it in the past, but it sounds like the universe is forcing these huge these huge changes. 
minus the Virgo. The Virgo's moving on. So I feel the Virgo created their own uh, destiny over here. Um, but everybody else, they, the universe forced it, basically. The Virgo's creating their own destiny. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But twin is not going to give in to contacting the twin, basically. Resisted it in the past. I feel there's been a lot of 555 change energy, and it's about to happen. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Heard someone over here is going to be pissed about it. So somebody in this mix is going to be pissed that the twin is about to reach out to their twin. But I feel the twins are highly intuitive, and they probably know this. Probably. But um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, I didn't, I didn't hear anything. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And if you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share my videos on social media and word of mouth. That's so much appreciated. Love you guys. Namaste.